There's no easy way to talk about this. It's going to be awkward, for sure. Now, as you can tell by the title, I'm bringing up a very serious topic. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting around here for the last couple of days. You're probably wondering, like, where's the new videos and stuff. I... I'm going through some health issues, and I thought, just like I always do, um, that possibly being open about this could help somebody out there. So, the title of the video is, <laughs> Testicular Cancer is No Joke, and I think at the moment, I can really relate to that, and I... I want to make this clear. First and foremost, at this very current moment, I don't know exactly what's going on. Now, I have a, a good feeling about everything. It, it still might be a, a bad issue, and I don't want to get into too much detail here. But I'll give you some backstory. About four years ago, I'd found a, a lump on my left testicle and it's embarrassing let's just be honest it's embarrassing you don't know what it is you know they, they constantly say you should check for these things and I'm making this video to show you how important it is to check for these things I went to the doctor and it turned out to be something completely normal did I go through a ton of stress over this absolutely I already have anxiety issues and having to deal with waiting to know what exactly is going on, especially down there, is something I don't want anybody to go through, but it's no joke. And I'm telling you this right now because I, I found something on the other side now, which is, is a little bit more alarming than what I felt before. And of course... When you find something, you constantly check. So yeah, I'll make a joke here and say that I like to play with my balls, but not in a sexual way, in a way to make sure that I'm not going to die from testicular cancer. I already found a lump, and that was quite scary, and I don't want to find another one, and unfortunately, I did. And, you know, based on everything I know at this point, it's not looking horrible. It's not looking like I've got cancer, okay? Do I know the actual answer to that at this very moment? No, I don't. Do I think it is cancer? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what it is. The point of this video is really to tell you guys how important it is to, if you find something, because me personally, even how, how outgoing I am, it was hard for me originally to go to the doctor. It was embarrassing. It was it questioned a lot of things and when you finally find out that it's nothing and you're fine uh yeah let me tell you the relief that you feel is spectacular now at this time i'm just going to tell you that right now i'm okay everything's fine i'm not in pain this is not i don't want to make it a big deal okay because i don't know the answer to it i should get the test results this week um I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, it's, will they have to operate on whatever this is? It depends. I don't really know what it is. I do have some cancer in the family, which possibly plays into it. I don't think it, it it's bad, okay? But the doctor, she doesn't know what it is. She didn't feel it and go, okay, this is this, you're fine. It was more of like, uh, okay, let's go check this out. So I'm at that stage right now, and I'm both terrified and also relieved that I went to find out what it is so I can get on with it. If it's something that's really bad, then I'll deal with it. If it's something that's ridiculously nothing, like, and I'm making a big deal in my own mind over this, then I'm going to, I'm going to feel like I'm a fool, but the sense of relief is there. And in closing, again, 
I don't know the um, the doctor who or the nurse who did the procedure. Yeah, she was female. I know that a lot of you are like, oh, a female nurse. And my doctor's female. So just know that two random chicks, like total professional chicks, touched my balls for a very good reason. So it's nice to have some humor still left in me at this point because I'm, I'm pretty nervous about everything. And I want to thank everybody on my Facebook who's seen me make strange posts. I just, I'm making this video right now to tell you guys that there's no answer. I don't know. But if you have found something down there, all you need to do is go to the doctor and tell them the truth because it could save your life. Absolutely. Um, there's also other things to take into consideration here that you don't think about. If you want to have kids, when you find something down there like this, it can also affect that. It can affect actually the removal of your testicle, which is a whole other thing you'll have to deal with. Now, these things are real life. So this is the most awkward video I've ever made. I'm going to take a little bit of a break here and it'll probably last another week. I do want to review The Division when it comes out. I'll be getting that on day one. I don't want to ignore the channel. I'm just telling you guys I'm on a very small break. I absolutely need it. And I thank you for the support. I thank everybody in advance here right now for posting your comments below because I know a lot of you are going to be concerned. I don't mean to make this video to scare everybody. I don't mean to scare anybody out there. I'm just telling you how it is, what's going on, why I'm not online right now making videos. I'm not having a very good time with this and I don't want anybody to find something and, and sit back and wait. I was talking to a bunch of my really good friends in the community and, and Alpha Mega Sin brought up the fact that uh, there's a lot of kids out there and if they find something, it's it's very hard when you're even younger to actually check for these things. And to be honest, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to tell you how you're going to go check your testicles, okay? That's ridiculous. I can make so many jokes right now, but all I'm going to say is this. There's a lot of information online, and I don't mean to scare anybody out there as well, but these are things that male and females should check for, especially in their breasts, because breast cancer and testicular cancer are fucking evil. So anybody really watching, check for these things because you never know. Thank you so much. I'm blabbing on now. I miss you guys. I will see you guys soon. Um, I will be honest with you guys and keep you updated. So as soon as I get the test results, I'll deal with that personally, and then I'll be back on YouTube as soon as possible. So uh, honestly, thank you so much for sticking around and waiting for the next video. I, I hope it's within a week, and if it is too, please forgive me. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me. I don't really want to do this, but I have to do it for myself. Thank you so much.